Any questions, please put in the chat box. Two seconds more for us to go. Um, Doc, can you make some statement on ulcer? These days, everybody's labeling themselves out ulcer. What would you say about that? Briefly again for us. Yes, hello. Yes, so ulcer, like I was saying, simply when you have a break in the integrity of the mucosa, that's lining the abdomen or lining the stomach or the duodenum, okay, in terms of peptic ulcer. And it's related to a, a bacteria that we call Helicobacter pylori. So this bacteria, usually you have acid in your stomach, okay? You have acid in your stomach. The, the acid is supposed to help us digest food, okay? We know that acid is, cor acid is corrosive. The, the stomach is designed such that you have a very good or very strong mucosa. When I say mucosa, the lining of the stomach is very strong because of the acidic nature of uh, the stomach. Now, if by the activity of this bacteria, you have a break in the mucosa, then the pain that you experience, you experience because you have this acid being exposed to an area in your stomach that is not protected by the mucosa, okay? And this can occur in any part of the stomach. The stomach has parts. It has the antrum, it has the fundus, and, and then the antrum as well. Or you can have it extending into the duodenum as well, okay? If you have ulcer, what we try to do is to number one, relieve the symptoms. And then number two, eradicate the bacteria that is also leading to this particular problem. We don't just say you have ulcer because you have abdominal pain, no. Mm -hmm. As always, we need to assess you. And the assessment involves listening to your story and then now examining you and later on, letting you do an investigation that we call an endoscopy, okay? So if we do the endoscopy, the endoscopy um, is like a tube that has a probe at the end. The probe lets us see inside your stomach and your intestines in real time. So it's like watching a video of the esophagus through the stomach going into the intestine. So that endoscopy helps us to see all around your esophagus. It helps us to see all around your stomach, helps us to see all around your small intestine. Okay. Now, uh, I, I, I forgot to mention another risk factor for this peptic ulcer. Patients who abuse pain medications that we call NSAIDs. I mentioned the examples of the NSAIDs earlier on. Now, your stomach lining, there is a, a chemical in the body called prostaglandin. That prostaglandin is what helps you to maintain the inner lining of the stomach and then, uh, yes, the stomach. If you take in these pain medications, these NSAIDs, when they are not indicated, then what you are going to do is you are going to block the action of the prostaglandin. And if you block the action of the prostaglandin, then that inner lining that protects the stomach is lost. Therefore, the patient now becomes prone to getting peptic ulcer. Okay. So peptic ulcer, we diagnose mainly by doing the endoscopy that I, I described earlier. If you've not done endoscopy, we may suspect that you have peptic ulcer, but then uh, we can't say for sure that it is peptic ulcer because it could be other things, as I explained in the presentation, okay? So not every ulcer is ulcer. Some ulcer is cancer, 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> some ulcer is cancer. Some is pancreatitis. Some is because of hepatitis. Some is because of something else. And it's not really peptic ulcer, yes. as we say. Yes. So I would say that um, we should be cautious with mm-hmm. labeling ourselves as having ulcer. Yes. without having gone through the necessary investigations to come uh, to that conclusion. And if you have peptic ulcer, it is treatable. Mm-hmm. It is treatable. There are medications, a combination of medications that are given to you to, number one, reduce the acid production, number two, to treat you of the bacterial infection or to eradicate the helicobacter pylori infection. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then number three, there are other things we tell you not to do so that you don't block the production of prostaglandin. Therefore, uh, 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 make yourself prone to getting peptic ulcer. Okay. So that would be my word on uh, ulcer. I like the deep explanation, the extensive explanation on ulcer. A lot of people are going to, oh, just before we finish the ulcer issue, dog, it's becoming fas- uh, fashionable these days for people to go and do H. pylori tests in a hospital. If it's positive, does it mean you have ulcer? Uh, it doesn't mean that you have ulcer. But if you have H. pylori infection, you are prone to getting ulcer. Like I say, ulcer is basically diagnosed on endoscopy yes so without having done the endoscopy it's very difficult for anybody to say for sure that you have ulcer 